All right, I'm now at Summit Road. This is near the very top of the grade coming up out of the valley here, out of Batavia Valley. The train's got to come up this big hill. This is like, I think maybe the steepest hill on their route. So they're coming from that way. When they have long trains, it's really interesting to watch. But here's the top of the rail. Let's look at the other side here. We're at the railroad crossing right now. Summit Road. Got some rust on there. We're gonna get this thing shined up in just a few minutes here. It takes the train quite a while to get up this hill because they have to loop way out and come around. Driving up here by car, you can beat the train by, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, a long time. It's really easy to beat the train up the top of the hill. But here they come. Oh yeah, let's have a close look at the rail again. Okay, it's all rusty. We'll see what it looks like after the train goes by. 1977, four dashes, April. Rolled in April of 1977, says Illinois. Uh, looks like it's a 132 pound rail. USS Illinois. The creek over here is really loud because all this water. So it's kind of hard to hear, but I can hear the train chugging up the hill a couple miles away. Now there were some insulators over there on that line side pole. Huh, they're gone. Look at that, it's right down in the water. That creek is usually just a little tiny brook or whatever. It usually doesn't have hardly any water in it. But we got all this rain, everything's flooded. I wonder what happened to the insulators on that. Used to be a bunch of glass insulators on there. They turned those off somewhere 2005 maybe? Let me know if you can hear the train. I hear it really good, but I know this creek next to me is pretty loud. Probably doesn't come out on the video. All right, you should be able to hear the train now. Wow, <clears throat> that sounded really cool. Let's check out the top of the rail. There you go. Look how shiny it got. All right, their first stop up there is Hudamaki. Just a couple miles up the track. They're gonna work Hudamaki. That's what those boxcars are for. That was really cool. Hey, there's a few insulators there, but they've been shot. Look at that, now I know why they're gone. People have been shooting them. See those glass insulators? There's just little pieces of them left on those pegs. Oh man, come on. Got the wooden pegs and those insulators, the glass insulators just screw on those pegs. But people shoot them.
There's a switch right there to the left that goes to Hudamaki. Hudamaki and Mount Carmel group. They're right over here on the left. Oh man, there's a tire somebody dumped off here. Right here's where the gate is. Uh, I'll move the tire out of the way. The tires got me moved. I'll have to open that gate and uh, reverse into here. That Tutamaki right there. Mount Carmel Group is right behind it. So you got two customers here. And those box cars are for Hudamaki. So as I'm driving over here, I hear something clicking on my front tire. I got something stuck in it when I pulled off over there where the old station is in Batavia. Got something stuck in my tire. I'm gonna see what that is. Um, I do have new tires on here because I was filming the train back a little lane a while back and I got two flats. One of them was all the way flat by the time I discovered it, and the other one was halfway down. But I always keep a can and fix a flat with me. Now, what are all these little lights? I've noticed that on the way over here, too. Okay, that one there I don't like. Um, that means I just need to put my seatbelt on. That, I didn't get the back door shut all the way. That, problem with the tire. Uh, oh, here's another one. That just means I've got it in four-wheel drive automatic, which I always keep it in that. And I've got a shovel in the back too, and a bucket in case I get stuck, which I've had to use that several times. So there's all kinds of little lights on here. Kind of interesting. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, we still have uh, the pets, and we got the slideshow coming up. Not sure what's stuck in the tire right there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I can get that out. Before they work over at Hudamaki, um, they have to come over here to Afton Yard. That's where I'm at right now. Afton Yard is a four track yard. And they are right now on the other end. They're at the eastern end of the yard. So they'll have to switch the cars around a little bit. And then they'll come back and reverse over towards Hudamaki with those box cars. After they work Hudamaki, of course, if they have time, then they'll be going east. They've got other customers out that way. Well, everyone, Jaw Tooth again. Got another great video for you. This is going to be the very first train of 2023 to go through Mount Orb. The first train of the year to go through Mount Orb. Today is January the 3rd. And it's close to 4 p.m. I forget exactly what time it is. It's going to be coming from that way right there. Got an eastbounder coming. There's the tracks. All rusty. And we got the train coming through right now. They're still up the tracks a little ways. They have to come through here pretty slow. But they'll be here in just a minute. Hang on. We're going to get some horn action. Anytime. They got a real slow spot right there. Here we go. I tell you. They got a Fred in the train device. All right.
Probably got the end of train device on because it's starting to get dark. And they may not be able to get all the way to Winchester before dark. That last car goes to Cohen Recycling. The covered hoppers go to Winchester Ag. Wow, that was cool. Very first train for 2023. Rails got shined up a little bit. That was pretty cool. Let's go up there and catch them again. There's the train station and the caboose. But wait, there's more. Man, we've had a lot of rain. Everything's getting flooded. Look at this. This is supposed to be Little White Oak Creek. Look at this. Wow, there's the railroad track. What a major river it's turned into. This is a flood. Wow. I've never seen this creek this high before. There's the railroad bridge right there. Never seen it like this. Look at that. Gosh, that whole area over there is totally underwater. Glad there's not much traffic right now. Man, what a flood. Got a train coming. It's gonna be coming right there. It's over there. I can see the lights. There it comes. I've never got this shot here before. Usually you can't see anything. Wow, was that cool or what? <laughs> that was awesome. I've never got that shot before. But look at all this water. This is a major flood here. Dag gone. There's the bridge. That's a lot of water there, son. Okay, I'm now in downtown Sardinia. We got the train coming into town here, eastbound. It's gonna be right over there. Coming in front of the auto shop that I normally film at. I'm gonna get some new locations.
making, they'll set that last car off at Cohen Recycling where they load it with the scrap metal. And then all the covered hopper cars will go to Winchester Ag in Winchester for loading grain. Here we are in downtown Sardinia. And that's the main intersection to you, right in the heart of the city right here. Sardinia is where the locomotive maintenance facility is located for the Cincinnati Eastern Railroad. It's where they've got the Y. And here we are getting ready to go buy it right now. And they're not going to restore the Y. At one time, they were going to and they started on uh, working on the track to restore the Y back to operation. But other projects came up and it got tabled pretty much for good. But we're inside the Y right here. That's a B36-7. Got two of them sitting over here. And here's some rock cars. A couple rock cars sitting on the east leg of the Y. And this is where Sardinia Concrete's at. Here's the crossing. This was on television right here. I saw this on television when we had that tornado that went through and it knocked down that big broken post right there. That was laying over the tracks. That was on television showing that post right there laying across the track. There you go, downtown Sardinia. Well, they made it as far as the east side of Sardinia and they're gonna shut down there for the night. They'll continue their journey tomorrow on the east end of the line it's just getting too dark too late so thanks for watching everyone hey what do you think about my my videos when it's dark like this should i keep making dark videos i'd rather video when we have sun out but um there's the train do you like videos when it's dark like this I prefer sunlight. I wish the big guy upstairs would turn that light bulb up a little bit brighter. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, gonna have a little bit of a slideshow, not much, because all the pictures be dark. And uh, we've got Chessie. I don't know about Norfie. Norfie's getting hard to, to film. When I get home and it's dark and I can't find her. She's hard to film. Anyways, thanks for watching. And watch some of the video if you can. Every view helps my channel. So if you can watch one more video, that would really help a lot. And we'll see you later. Jaw 2 is out. Well, there's little Chessie sleeping on the couch. Hi, Chessie. What you doing? You want to go see some trains? There she is. It's a good doggy. There's one of her toys. And there's another one. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Hi there.